Hello and welcome to the Webserd and Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. Brits are choosing their devices based on which online activity they want to do. Apple is set to allow payments through iMessage and a Singaporean luxury e-commerce site has announced its plans for the future. British internet users are choosing their devices based on what activity they plan to do. A survey from Verto Analytics has shown that different online activities bring with them clear device preferences. 5,000 British adults were questioned for the survey, with the results showing that when it came to health and fitness needs, smartphones were used 82% of the time, whilst desktop was used 84% of the time when it came to technology. The rest of the top five activities on smartphone were lifestyle, sports, cars and travel, whilst desktop's top five activities were technology, government services, photo services, online tools and news. Virtual Analytics CEO said that media owners and advertisers must adapt their offering or behaviour to more accurately reflect how people are most likely to be visiting them. Apple users will soon be able to spend money through iMessage using a virtual Apple Pay card. The new feature will be part of Apple's latest operating system, iOS 11. The system will recognize when a member of the chat says something like, you owe me £20, for example, and then prompt the recipient to make a payment. This isn't the first time that payments will be able to be made over the iMessage service, as it can also be done over apps such as Square and Venmo. But Apple's own payment integration is expected to gain the upper hand, as they own the entire ecosystem. Any money that is sent across a chat will then be stored on an Apple Pay virtual card stored in your wallet app to then be either cashed into the user's bank account or used as payment anywhere where Apple Pay is accepted. The Singapore-based luxury fashion e-commerce site Rebonds has announced the opening of its e-commerce hub. The 200,000 square foot building is worth 29 million US dollars and will house the entire business's headquarters, including management as well as its entire warehousing and distribution facilities. This new investment is part of a recent push following 40 million US dollars of fundraising, which included the launch of services such as closets, which allow users to list and sell their own possessions and White Glove, which does a similar thing, but for designer clothes with professional images. Rebonds has also recently expanded across the Asia-Pacific region into countries like Australia, Hong Kong, Malaysia, South Korea, Thailand and Taiwan. The image-based social network PATH is maintaining a strong position in Indonesia, despite struggling to find success in other markets. Launched in 2010, it failed to see the same success as Instagram and was sold to Kakao in 2015. However, a survey performed by Jack Pat has revealed that it's Indonesia's fourth most popular social network on smartphones, ahead of the popular image-based apps Snapchat and Pinterest. According to the survey, Path is used by nearly a quarter of smartphone users in Indonesia, just 10% behind Twitter. It's thought that its success in the emerging market is down to the current limitations of smartphone technology in the country, limiting the use of apps like Snapchat, which use video, something that is difficult to use due to the current mobile networks there. And finally, Siri is getting an update that will introduce a more human voice. According to Apple, the digital assistant is used by 375 million different devices each month. Also soon to be introduced is the ability to ask Siri how to say a certain word in another language, with Chinese, French, German, Italian and Spanish all being included in the update. These features should make it more competitive against Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, both of which have made it tricky for Apple's technology to grow. 
And that's it from me today. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to check out our Catch Up TV service to access our full database of in depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how to videos, and more. See you next time.